Hey there, Sharon Her Nails Mirror. Are you on thin ice like Elsa a lot of the time or Anna? Go ahead and break your goal down in steps. Welcome to day 2,161 of what you have to now documenting the journey. Originally, as I transitioned from and jumped on, I didn't really transition. I cut off my offline businesses and world and my real physical businesses and decided that in 2017, I was going to pop online. I was following my divorce, a lot of junk going on. And so I divested myself and uh, my business is with my ex-husband. I was like needing something to do. I was old enough to retire, but I didn't want to retire yet. So I decided, I'd always been curious about the internet, that I was going to pop on and figure this online business thing out, which is really interesting because it's obviously been years now. And I am still learning all the time. Pretty much every day I learn something new about what works, what doesn't work. Or I would like to say what works or what doesn't work for me because each of us have to go on this journey to figure out what feels right for us and, and how we want to show up in the world. And it's slightly different for each and every one of us. Of course, there are strategies and tactics and, and, and principles and things that work. But if they don't feel right for us, we're not going to do them. At least I'm not going to. And have I tried on a lot of stuff that wasn't comfortable at first and I got comfortable with? Yes. And then was successful with it. Have I tried on a lot of stuff that I wasn't comfortable with and I just got less and less comfortable with? Yes. And I've stopped. I stopped doing that because if it doesn't feel right to me, the older I get, the more important I know that it, I behave and make choices that are aligned with who I really am. I don't want to make the world a worse place. So I'm not going to do anything no tactics or hacks or strategies or tricks that I think aren't in people's best interests and aren't in my best interests to put out into the world. Hoping that makes sense and that I'm communicating in a way that uh, makes sense. Each and every one of us has to decide what's right for us and how we want to show up and what we want to do and what we will and will not do. We all have get the opportunity to draw that line in the sand for what is for us and what is not for us. And we learn that a lot of the time through trial and error, but there are shortcuts to it. You know, if you've got a great coach or a great mentor, they can help you to stay on track with what's right for you and save you a lot of time and energy by not going after all of the shiny objects and all the things that are available in the world because it is, is and can be absolutely paralyzing and overwhelming because there are so many choices. Just in this goals challenge, we're doing a, a get your goals annual challenge this year. So we do one thing every day to work toward what you want in different areas. And I structure it along a life framework that I learned from Tony Robbins in the eighties, Tony Robbins and Jim Rohn. And then in 2021, following the pandemic, uh, I added two things to my life framework. And so that's what I use and that's what I teach on. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships and contribution were my original uh, seven categories. And I added communication and confidence because what I'm seeing and experiencing in the world is that those are two areas that are foundational and they have an impact on all those other areas and aspects of our life. And so if we don't continually improve and work on them, we're going to struggle. And I found that during the pandemic, especially people, instead of going outside themselves and being creative and looking for solutions, they went inside themselves. They stopped communicating. They stopped engaging. And I think that it's had uh, and, and they were less confident, right? If we're out in the world engaging with people, we're a lot more confident than if we're locked in our homes and not interacting with hardly anyone. So those are some lessons I've taken away from the pandemic. Of course, just like any other experience or situation we find ourselves in, there are positives from that and there are negatives from that. It's amazing to me that over time, what I thought was super duper negative in an experience ends up being empowering and positive, usually because it's forced me to make some kind of a change that I was probably putting off in the first place. So uh, I think of, I look back on my sudden cardiac arrest and I think that no, at the time I didn't feel very positive about it. I was like, what the heck, why did this happen to me? And I pretty quickly switched from, oh my gosh, why did this happen to, I am so thankful to be here. What am I going to do about it to make sure that this never happens again? Because the universe and the world and my body was telling me, you put way too much in your little red wagon. And if you don't straighten out some of these areas and aspects of your life and pay at least a little attention to them, you're not going to be here in three years. You're definitely not going to be here in six years. And you certainly wouldn't be here 13 plus years later. So 
that's all I've got. If I can help you in any way, ask. It's getting to be the end of the year, so I'm wrapping up this year's challenge, working and preparing for next year's challenge. I have to check, thank Chad Hannity. He's given me the, the theme and the idea for next year. Yet again, he gave me last year's and he gave me this year's too, so I think he's my idea man now. Uh, if you want to participate with that, just stay here. I, will, I haven't decided what page. I'm going to probably do it on Facebook still because it's so easy for me to record on Facebook. I just pop on and do it every day. And with a daily challenge, we have to find ways to make things simple and easy so that we do them automatically. If we don't, guess what? It's really easy to make excuses and not do things. But once I say I'm going to do something, I just do it. So uh, I said I've decided I'm going to do an annual challenge, even though my kids are like, don't do another annual challenge <laughs> because it it's it requires certain things that I that I have to have to show up every day, right? And lots of people don't want to show up every day. Anyway, I digress. But I'll be uh, putting out some information on that. And of course, January 1st will be day one uh, after we finish this year's challenge. So I'm pretty busy, but I am not working with clients and customers for this week period. So if you have a question, now is the time to ask. All right, have an awesome day. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.